Hello everybody, and welcome to Puzzle Buster, Java Challenges Solved. Boy, have I got a challenge for you. The name of today's challenge is called Parse It. The object of the challenge is, given a text of any length, comb through the text looking for a repeated keyword, find the word right after that, and collect all of those words into a handy dandy list. Now let's imagine that you work for a department store and there's a document being passed around the heads of departments that although is written for human readability is also known to contain a recurring keyword such as the word category. It's also known that every time the word category appears the very next word happens to be the name of one of the departments and you've been given the job of writing the code that will comb through this document and find every name of department and list them separately. So how would you do something like this? Take a moment to pause the video if you'd like to think through it on your own. Otherwise, let's think through this together. Now something like this is not very easy. It's a little trickier than it sounds, but it's certainly not impossible by any stretch of the imagination. One way this could be done is by writing a method that accepts the body of the text as input and then uses a loop to go through the text word by word. If you were to go through the text word by word, you could use the index of function of the string method to look for the keyword such as category. You could then, using that as the beginning index plus its own length if you don't want to include that word, print out to the screen a slice using the substring method, using the length of that word as the beginning of the slice, and using the first space as the end of that slice, assuming that a space indicates you've reached the end of the word you're trying to cut out. Then you could set that string object once again to a substring slice of that very first space, which would effectively cut off everything before that and you could continue this loop until there were no more occurrences of that word. And so if we were going to use something like a while loop, we could use the conditions of the index of that particular word and look for it to not equal negative one. Because if you're using the index of function of the string object, looking for a particular word and that word is not there, it will always return a negative one, at which point it would be appropriate for the loop to terminate and our program would be done. Now let's go ahead and try to write this together. We'll start by opening up Eclipse. And you see here I have a class called parse and I have our main method. So inside the main method, let's go ahead and build a string variable and set the string variable equal to that body of hypothetical text. And so I'll just write a little snippet of text right quick. I'm going to need to use the plus concatenator because the text is so long I want to write it over several lines. All right, so we have some hypothetical text and it reads something to the effect of, 
At the department store, there are many items, including category electronics and category pharmaceuticals, as well as others like category apparel and category toys, also many more such as category housewares or category groceries or category office, and finally things like category garden and category jewelry. And so as we mentioned before, the point of this code is going to comb through and find every occurrence of the word category and then slice out the very next word and list all of those words into a handy dandy little area. So we have our string object. So let's go ahead and make a call to our function that's going to do this and we'll, we'll name this function parse string. And as we mentioned before, it will be looking for text, so we'll pass through the text that we made. And that's everything we need to do in the main method. So now outside of the main method, let's actually declare and write the method parse string. And since it's expecting a string, we'll pass through a string that we're going to call str. And inside this parse string method, to begin with, let's just print out an empty line for formatting purposes, just to give us that carriage return. Then we'll define our loop, and a while loop seems appropriate here because we're going to say, while a condition is true, execute this loop, and the condition that we want to be true is that the string dot index of the word category does not return a negative one. In other words, there is still another occurrence of the word category, in which case, go ahead and execute this loop. So if there is another, in, uh, another occurrence of the word category, we're going to take the string that we passed through, we're going to set it equal to a substring slice of that particular index. Then we're going to print to the screen a substring slice starting with the index of that particular word plus its length as the beginning, and then the very next space as the end, and that should give us the word we're looking for. So the length of category plus the colon is going to be equal to nine, so that's where we're going to start the slice. And we'll search for the index of the first space to mark the end of the slice. All right, that looks correct. Now we're going to reset that string object to slice off everything before that space because we won't be needing that anymore. And that will conclude the loop. Then after that, we will, again, for formatting purposes, print out another blank line to give us a carriage return. And that looks about right. So now if we've written everything correctly and if all of our ducks are in a row, if we run this, we should have a loop that goes through, finds the occurrence of the word category, counts in nine spaces, begins a slice until it reaches the first blank space, and then prints that word to the screen, and then slices out everything before that blank space, and then starts again. And then after there are no more occurrences of the word category, it will return a negative one, and the loop will terminate, and the program will be over. So let's see if we got this right.
All right, this is interesting. So we have an index array out of bounds, index out of bounds exception. And I have a feeling it's because I misspelled one of the occurrences of category. Right there. I had a space instead of a colon. So let's try this one more time. And bada bing, bada boom, it worked. We have here a list that reads electronics, pharmaceuticals, apparel, toys, housewares, groceries, office, garden, and jewelry. So forgive the typos, that was not part of the execution of the program, however that is par for the course for programming. I would call this puzzle busted. And as an additional challenge for you at home, how would you make a small change to this program so that it would accept any keyword from the user, not just the word category hard-coded, but something hard-coded, but something more dynamic? And so I encourage you to give that a try at home. Otherwise, I hope this was informative and educational, and I can't wait to see everyone back again for the very next video. Thank you so much, and have a beautiful night.